Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk you through a very simple method to help you control your pitching distances. So a lot of people really struggle with anything that isn't a full shot. So for me, that might be you know anything inside probably 80 to 100 yards. So I use the clock method, okay? So basically, uh, this is something that I've used um, that, that's come from Dave Peltz. Uh, who coaches uh, Phil Nicholson uh, of many of his major major stars uh, and basically what he says is that the the left arm is essentially the big hand on a clock and how far back your left arm goes in the backswing will determine how far the clock how far the swing is going to be and how far the, the, the ball is going to travel so he has four different types of swings, okay? So the first one would be back to 7.30, okay? So we can imagine this is, say, six o'clock, back to 7.30, and then through. Now, Dave Peltz says in his Short Game Bible book that he likes to have a, a full follow through. Now, for me, I would say from 7.30 there, just go a little bit further past that on the way through. So that's swing number one. So that would look something like this. Okay, now that's obviously very close to a, a chip, okay? But it's good to have that first swing just to really give you a, a, an idea for that sort of shorter swing. Uh, and really we're looking at sort of carry distances here. So. This is my 58, that carried 19.8 yards, so pretty much 20 yards there. Swing number two is back to nine o'clock, okay? So going back to nine o'clock there, where the left arm is parallel to the ground, again, matching it on the way through. So back to nine o'clock, matching it on the way through, okay? And that's carried 39 yards. Now, with a bit of practice, you should start to get some consistency in terms of uh, carry distances here. What we're doing is just highlighting how the, the, the different length of swing will increase uh, the distance. The next swing is 10.30. So back to 10.30 on the clock and then through. So again, progressively getting longer. Again, so that's pretty much 60 yards. So we're starting to see 20, 40, 60 here. So we're getting a, a nice increase, okay? So just by increasing the length, we're see, seeing it jump around about 20 yards in this case. And then Dave Peltz advocates a fourth swing, um, which not everyone would get to, but that's basically a, a 12 o'clock swing, which is a full swing. So. Let's give that a go. And that's carried 77, so near enough 80 yards. So we've actually had four swings there at going roughly 20, 40, 60 and 80 yards, okay? Now, the reason why this is so beneficial is depending on how many wedges you carry, I carry 58, 54, 50 on my pitching wedge, you could argue. So you imagine four swings with four wedges, that's 16 yardages inside probably about 130 yards. So all of a sudden, that yardage that was a little bit daunting, you know, and slightly awkward, you know, maybe let's say a 65 yard shot, you all of a sudden have a swing that's gonna hit you that and you can be confident with that, okay? so. Very simple method for you to follow and try. I would recommend hitting, say, 20 balls with each swing, um, either in practice or even better, if you can get on a launch monitor for this, uh, this particular exercise, it will give you some precise uh, numbers, especially your landing number. And over time, you will have your favorite swing as well. And, you're, and so let's say you're most comfortable with a, a nine o'clock swing, you can then start to incorporate that into your, into your game and into your course management to help you with your scoring. Okay, so thank you very much for watching today. 
Hope you find that really useful and something you can practice on the golf course and see you again very soon.